uses light energy to stimulate the natural drain structure of the eye, the trabecular meshwork, to try to pump fluid a little bit more efficiently. Um, and there are a lot of theories as to how that, that actually works. Um, but the most the sort of prevalent theory is that it is stimulating the cells to basically um, ungunk themselves and pump fluid more efficiently into the natural drain structure of the eye. In 2019, there was a big clinical trial that was published in uh, the academic journal called The Lancet. And it was published by a, a clinical trial consortium in the United Kingdom that looked at a large group of patients who were treated with laser trabeculoplasty as their first treatment for glaucoma. And they compared that head to head with um, a group of patients who were treated with drops as first line. Now, for years and years, we had thought, oh, the drops are going to outperform the laser. We had kind of viewed laser trabeculoplasty even after the advent of the safer SLT version of it in 2001. We had said, oh, you know, that's for people whose drops are not working for them. Um, it, it probably doesn't do as well as the drops. Well, as it turns out, that publication showed um, in sort of outstanding terms that it actually did better at lowering eye pressure and preventing people from having progression of their disease than, than the, the most common drops that we use. And subsequent to that 2019 publication, that every year there's now been a follow-up study looking at a long-term follow-up of the patients in that original cohort. And every year the result is the same thing over and over and over again. And so this has sort of exploded us over the last six years and changed our entire understanding of SLT is actually better than drops. And it's changed our whole mindset of this disease because we used to think as glaucoma surgeons, the right thing to do or glaucoma specialists or community optometrists, whoever's treating you, we used to think drops were the right thing to start with. And it turns out that's not true. It has rejuvenated our interest in SLT and made it move up towards first line and how we think about treating open angle glaucoma. And the second thing is it's made us realize, ah, maybe the best way to treat this disease at every stage of the game is to be doing low risk interventions rather than requiring the patient to put medicated preserved eye drops on their eye perfectly every day for the rest of their life.